today, I will share the basic concept in probability. So, what is the probability? Let's look at this introduction. So, probability is the chance or how likely an event will happen. In simple words, probability measures the degree of uncertainty in numerical terms. It is a number that measures the likelihood or chance that an event will occur when an experiment is performed. The probability theory is applied in everyday life. For example, in weather forecasting, risk management and investment, financial, medical, and many more. Firstly, we focus on basic terms in probability. First term, experiment. What is the experiment? It is a process of making an observation or taking a measurement. Second term is outcome. So outcome is the result from a trial of a probability experiment. Next, sample space denoted by capital S. So sample space is the set of all possible outcomes from the experiment. Next, event. So what is event? Event is a subset of a sample space. There are two types. First one is elementary event. So this one is consists of a single outcome. Meanwhile, second event that consists of more than one outcome known as compound event. Let's look at this example. Rolling a die. So when you roll a die, the possible outcome is getting number one. But what is the sample space? Recall back, sample space is a set of all possible outcomes. Means you may got number one or number two, three, four, five or six. That one is sample space. Next, focus on event. Let A be the event of getting number one. So A represent like this. Next, let B be the event of getting even number. So B represented like this. So event A is simple event. Meanwhile, event B is example for compound event. Okay, let's continue basic terms in probability. Sampling with replacement. So this one refers to each unit can be selected more than once. Means there is no change in the population size at any stage. For example, suppose there are five marbles in a box. So probability of selecting first marble is 1 over 5. Next, the probability of selecting second marble is also 1 over 5. So next proceed to sampling without replacement. So this one, the process will eliminate the possibility that any unit will appear more than once. For example, same example as before, 5 marbles in a box. So the probability of selecting first marble is 1 over 5. But the probability of selecting second marble is 1 over 4. So this one, based on the example, the marble is reduced 1 for the next selection. Okay, next, proceed to basic concept in probability. So first concept, the probability of event A equal to number of outcomes where A occurs divided by total number of possible outcome. Second, the probability value must be in between 0 and 1. Let's say you got 0 means the event is impossible to occur. But if you got the probability equal to 1, the event is certain to occur. 
Next, event A prime will be the complement of event A. So, remember, PA plus PA prime equal to 1. Number 4, the intersection of event A and B. So, written the events like this. Intersection symbol. Proceed to next basic concept. The union of event A and B. So, we write like this. Using this symbol. A combined with B. Next, mutually exclusive event between event A and B. So, if A and B are mutually exclusive event, means there is no intersection between A and B. Next, event A and B are independent. If the occurrence of one of them is unaffected by the other event. So, A intersect B equal to PA times PB. And last one, so this one is additive rule. You must remember this rule. First example, given that A and B are two events with A equal to 0.6, B equal to 0.35, and A intersect B equal to 0.2, find A union B and determine whether A and B are independent events or not. So how to solve this example? First, you must use additive rule. Substitute all the information into the equation. So you got A union B equal to 0.75. Next, if you want to check either A and B are independent event or not, you must use this formula. Check right and left side value. Substitute PA and PB. So PA times PB, you got 0 0.21, which is not equal to 0 0.2. Therefore, A and B are not independent events. I'll proceed to second example. So given that A union B 3 over 4, A prime 2 over 3 and A intersect B equal to 1 over 4. So you need to find all this equation. So how to solve? First one, using basic concept A plus A prime equal to 1. Therefore, P A equal to 1 minus 2 over 3, which is equal to 1 over 3. 3. Next, you need to find probability of event B. Recall additive rule. Substitute all the value for each event. Then, you may find the probability of B happen equal to 2 over 3. Next, C. Are A and B mutually exclusive events? Recall back basic concept. Mutually exclusive events only occur if there is no intersection between event A and B. But based on the example, there exists intersection between A and B. So here. Therefore, A and B are not mutually exclusive events. And last question for example 2. Are A and B independent events? Solve using this formula. So at the end, you got A intersect B does not equal to PA times PB. Therefore, A and B are not independent events. Proceed to example 3. Ali is interested to study the inflation and recession of a particular country. The probability of inflation is 0.3. 
the probability of recession is 0.2 and for both events is 0.06. First question, are the events of inflation and recession mutually exclusive? So based on the information, PI, where I stand for inflation and PR, R stand for recession. So PI equal to 0.3 and PR equal to 0.2. Then, next information is intersection between two events, which is equal to 0.06. Recall back. Events are mutually exclusive if and only if there is no intersection. Therefore, events of inflation and recession are not mutually exclusive events. Next question, what is the probability of an inflation or recession happening in that country? So based on this question, the keyword is or. So or means union, this symbol. So by using additive rule, substitute PI, PR and intersection I and R. Substitute all the values at the end. The probability of an inflation or recession happening in that country equal to 0.44. Now you have learned what is the basic terms. What is the basic concepts in probability. Next, we focus on Venn diagram. Assalamualaikum and da.